Hey guys, welcome to our art guitar community. My name is Raymond and today we're going to do a demo and a review on the classic comp compressor pedal made by Craig Amps. Hope you enjoy. So Craig Amps over here is a South African brand and this pedal goes for roughly about 2,200 rands which converts to about $160 depending on the exchange rate and that would be excluding shipping fees. The cool thing about these pedals is, is you can completely customize the appearance of it so you can choose different colors, you can even slam your own band logo on there or your signature or your name or such and that makes it pretty cool because it's like got a boutique factor to it. Um, we've linked their Facebook page up here, so I'd recommend you guys go check them out. Alright guys, so like most compression pedals, um, we have a level adjustment, a release adjustment, or um, otherwise known as attack, and a sustain adjustment. Uh, another nice thing about this pedal it, is that it has a true bypass. For those of you that uh, don't know what that means, it basically means that uh, if it's deactivated, then um, the signal that comes through is completely clean, unadulterated or unchanged by the, the, the pedal itself. Alright, so over here with the level adjustment, uh, this is basically just the volume uh, adjustment that the signal passes through the pedal. You can either set it up so that there's no volume change at all from being compressed and non-compressed, or you can boost the level a little bit like uh, around 3 o'clock, um, and then it will serve as kind of like a boost pedal. Uh, for solos or if you just want there's a certain section where you want your cleans to cut through the mix really nicely um, it'll really help with that. Alright so the release knob over here it basically adds a nice punchy attack to your playing which is great for uh, your country playing as well as just some more aggressive clean solos. The only thing that you have to look for is that when you turn this up it tends to uh, boost the volume quite a bit as well so you have to kind of compensate for that by turning your level down the further up you turn it. If you don't want that really punchy attack uh, tone then you can just turn it all the way down and you can still get some nice sustain and compression just enriching, enriching your tone uh, but not adding so much attack to your notes. Alright over here we have your sustain knob uh, basically if you feel like your notes are falling uh, the volume dips too quickly, you can just turn this up and it'll give you a lot more sustain on your notes. Um, if you don't want too much sustain but you still just want your tone to enrich when you activate this pedal, you can just turn it down a little bit. Um, but it's really, really great for if you want to play a chord and ring it out and just let it ring for ages and ages without falling, without falling down or dipping in volume. 
So I really like this pedal. I feel like it really enriches my overtones on my guitar and as soon as you stomp it, it brings out a nice character out of the guitar. And I play a lot of single quills and I feel like this pedal also fattens up a little bit of the single quill sound and that helps a lot, especially with solos and especially with some, some intro lines and all that sort of things. Uh, my only critique on this pedal would be the fact that it only has three adjustment knobs where you get some of the compression pedals where we have about four or five uh, adjustment knobs but other than that I give this pedal a 7.5 alright so as far as my rating for this pedal goes I really like uh, the fact that you can customize it I think that's a really really cool bonus that not a lot of pedals uh, or brands have um, I'd personally really love to slap my band's logo on here or my signature um, I, I like the small profile it's it's slightly thinner than, than most pedals so it fits on a, on a pedal board quite comfortably which is really nice uh, I really like the, the, the fact that there's only three knobs because um, I, I don't like to fiddle too much to get a good sounding tone. You don't have to spend a lot of time with this pedal and you can get a great tone out of it which is really nice. The only uh, critique is that at first I was a little bit confused of what the release button do because I know about the concept of a release with compression but I find that um, the rele release knob adds more of an attack um, so I, I thought that it might have been better if it was named attack instead of release. Um, the sustain does exactly what it needs to, it adds a lot more sustain to your notes um, and the level is self-explanatory so everything does exactly what it needs to. I just felt like the release could, should be named attack, as, as, as silly of a technicality as that is. Uh, but overall I rate this pedal a solid 7. Thanks so much for watching our video, remember to like and subscribe for more content. You can also ring that little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever we release a new video. Which is at least once a week. Click over here to check out our next video. Click over here to visit our channel for videos of song tutorials, techniques, full courses and gear reviews. We also goof around occasionally with some fun challenges. Click over here to visit our website. We have monthly competitions and giveaways. And in the near future we'll have user profiles with unlockable achievements. Full educational courses with skill trees. And personal skill verification with live feedback. Thanks for being part of our guitar community. See you next time.